What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony as a new car track SUV reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the brand new 2023 Mercedes-Benz C300 sedan, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because I personally love the styling of this thing. And I've actually been reviewing this car for eight years now. That means I'm getting freaking old but it also starts at under $45,000, which is pretty impressive for what this thing offers as well. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the rear wheel drive will start at $44,850. Then you got the Formatic all wheel drive starting at $46,800. $50. But regardless of the configuration that you go with, the power plant on this one is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder with a mild hybrid system, putting out 255 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 295 pound feet of torque coming in at 2,000 RPM. Again, power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through a nine speed automatic with paddle shifters, which we will test out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time, according to Mercedes, coming in at approximately six seconds flat with MPG number coming in at 25 in the city 36 on the highway that's dang impressive for the rear wheel drive and then 24 in the city 33 on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in our c300 sedan i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a button labeled dynamic that stands for dynamic select through that you were able to pick between eco comfort sport and individual adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity all right so we got it in sport driving mode i got it in full manual shift mode here we go yeah baby Yeah, that's plenty quick. I will say for whatever reason, there is some sort of slight delay to the paddle shifters. It's funny, you know, how, however many Mercedes I've tested, some paddle shifters, the AMGs obviously, are ridiculously quick, like among the best. And some of them do have a slight delay to them. And that is the case in the C300 sedan. But having said that, as far as acceleration goes, you're most definitely not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway. This thing is plenty powerful for what it is. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as you would expect, four wheel disc brakes do come standard cross drilled rotors, typical Mercedes fashion. They do tend to do that. I love that. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, it's gonna come in at a very impressive 112 feet. That's a, that's a brilliant number. That's sports sedan good, you guys. A lot of sedans come in the 120s. So 112 feet, that's excellent. So as far as braking feel goes, instantly brings you to a stop. You guys probably heard my backpack go flying there because yeah, it's excellent braking power in the C300 sedan. But then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a four link front suspension in the back, 5R multi-link rear suspension, but you know what else you get standard? An adaptive damping suspension. I love those because essentially what that is, it's gonna monitor each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it's also going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds, the better handling there as well. So I always love when vehicles have that. And so as far as ride quality goes, is we're going two miles per hour right now, now we're coming to a stop. It's been plenty fun and that's due in part because of that adaptive damping suspension. It feels like a Mercedes Benz in terms of ride quality. So I absolutely love that. As far as steering feel goes, it is a noticeable difference. Like I said, dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in. So if you put it in that sport driving mode, it's going to be a much heavier weighted steering feel as if you were to put it in the comfort driving mode, it's going to instantly loosen up that steering feel for you. So you really get the best of both worlds there. As far as cabin noise goes, I will say the only thing I'm really hearing personally is the turbocharged engine, which is a pretty cool sound to hear, quite honestly. I like hearing that. Other than that, it is a very serene cabin. And I did want to mention there is actually an option for the C300 sedan. That's an acoustic glass package that goes for $150. That's not only going to give you an acoustic laminated front windshield, but also acoustic laminated front side glass, which isn't even always the case in luxury vehicles. Cause like I said, it is an option. So it's a rare one. You get that in the S class, but 
Even amongst luxury vehicles, typically you'll get the acoustic laminated front windshield, but not the front side glass. That is brilliant. That's going to give you the most serene cabin possible if you were interested in that for the C300 sedan. But then touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out of my rear view mirror. So visibility, as you would expect, is 100% on point. Rain sensing windshield wipers, though, do assist with forward visibility, and that does come standard for every single trim level across the board. So you got to love that as well. And there is an optional head-up display available if you wanted to add. That's gonna project your speed, speed limit, and safety features up on your windshield so you can better focus more of your attention on actually enjoying the drive. Once again, assisting with forward visibility. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic sedan. All right, and so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Mercedes-Benz C300 sedan, finished in polar white, in case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one here today. And so since this one was recently redesigned in 2022, not much has actually changed for 2023. So let me start by saying that, and let's go ahead and get started with where this one is actually built and assembled, actually. So taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter W, indicating that the C300 sedan is built and assembled in Germany. Love it, as it should be. So taking a look up front here, Mercedes diamond block front grille will come standard. I do want to mention though, there is an AMG line night package that goes for $3,400. We do have that and that gives you much more aggressive styling throughout, not just on the front end, but also the side skirts and the back end as well. And also plenty of gloss black exterior accents to go along with all of that. But to the sides, LED headlights do come standard. They'll come with LED daytime running lights as well. Of course, also so with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. And automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically then bounce it back up to high beams. So very convenient feature there. But the one package I really wanna mention up front is the adaptive digital light headlights. So that goes for $1,100 and that gives you actually more than just what you think. So obviously a little brighter illumination at night, but again, they're adaptive. So I love adaptive lighting because essentially what that is, is when you're going around a bend at night, those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend. So you're less likely to hit a deer or a squirrel or whatever the case. So it's really a safety feature in itself. And you get added illumination, of course, as well. And actually they also include ultra wide high beams to go along with all that. So plenty with that lighting package. So I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. Do want to mention though down below, traditionally you will get a chrome front lip unless you go with that AMG line night package, in which case you're going to get a gloss black front lip of course. And of course to the sides you will find some front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better added aerodynamics there as well. But that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, standard configuration, you're gonna get chrome window surrounds, obviously with the AMG line, you're gonna get gloss black, like I keep mentioning. Chrome accents on the door handles as well. We still got those. Body color power adjustable side mirrors coming standard with integrated turret signals, and they will also be power folding coming standard as well. So when you lock this thing up, it's gonna fold the mirrors in. When you unlock it, it's gonna fold them back out. So that's a pretty cool standard feature there. Take a look down at the wheel set, 18 inch five spoke alloys coming standard 18 inch amg specific alloys for the amg line package that you guys are looking at right now i always love the wheel designs that mercedes-benz pulls off it's so unique unlike any other vehicles on the road so so stinking cool and of course there's plenty of 18 and 19 inch designs available to really make this one your own and of course since we have the amg line we do have some specific side skirts found on this one that you're not going to get otherwise basically but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile love the look on the side of this one but let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so we now see you all around to the back of this one. Very first thing I wanna mention, because this is so different than literally every single other vehicle on the road, is Mercedes-Benz doesn't give you a shark fin antenna all the way to the top, or really any kind of visible antenna on the roof of this thing. Every single other manufacturer that I've seen does. It's so much cleaner of a look on a Mercedes just because of that alone. But anyways, rear spoiler is available for $350. You can actually get that in gloss black or body colored. It's your choice. It doesn't come standard, but it is available for $350. LED taillights do come standard as well. Added illumination there. But having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All 
made some announcements we are around to the back of the c300 when it comes to opening that rear trunk it is a power trunk that does come standard there is a button on the driver's side door of course a button on the key fob and a button on the trunk itself then as well but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 12.6 cubic feet behind that second row there if that was not enough space there is a 40 20 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down there's actually a button in the cargo area to kind of power fold down those rear seats which I don't think I've ever seen in a sedan the fact that it's power folding. So that's pretty darn cool as well. Of course, there is some cargo lighting back there. There are actually two grocery bag hooks, which again, another feature you don't typically find in sedans. There's also four chrome plated tie down anchors as well. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find some decent amount of in-floor storage. Another feature you don't typically find in sedans. So love that as well. You can put a tire inflator kit or an ice scraper or whatever you want back there. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, then make your up to the rear legroom coming in at 36 inches even i'm an even six feet tall for reference this is how much space i have back there there is a rear center armrest with a tablet or cell phone holder back there so that was kind of interesting also rear ventilation coming standard and a little bit of storage if the rear passengers look forward under that rear ventilation there as well but then make our way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats with memory settings do come standard and memory settings by the way not just for the driver but for the passenger as well for up to three different passengers. That's something you don't typically find on other vehicles out there. So love that. Heated front seats coming standard. MB Tech's upholstery coming standard. You can get leather seating for $1,620. Then you can get ventilated front seats for $450 if you were interested. But overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was okay. Not too bad. I would have preferred vertical seams. I say that in uh, pretty much all of my videos because there's no awkward pressure points. But overall, Plenty fine, no, no issues with the seating for me. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped, a perforated leather actually. So absolutely love that. You can actually get a heated steering wheel then for an additional $250. And I do like the flat bottom that comes standard on this thing as well. Very sporty look to it. But then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Mercedes Benz logo all the way to the top, which doubles as your lock button. That's pretty cool. Unlock just below it, and of course the button to pop the rear trunk there, but it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of that infotainment screen, which we'll get to here in a little bit. But taking a look at the gauge cluster here, it is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. So stinking cool, which by the way, can be completely changed up if you didn't like the look of it. So there's an understated look, there's a sport look, and there's a classic look, and it completely changes the look of the gauges up there. So I actually like the sport look, so I think I'm gonna leave it on that, but you can put it on classic as well. So amazing look. By the way, the sport look, it's almost like a 3D gauge cluster, kind of fades off into the distance. It's so stinking cool. You got the G-Force statistics on the left too, but anyways, it tells you how many miles you have left until you hit empty, outside temperature, pretty much everything you could possibly want up there. And like I said, it is completely customizable because it is digital. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Power sunroof is going to come standard. However, there is a panorama roof available for an additional $1,000 if you wanted that. We do have that today, so I love that. Home light controls do come standard. That's found just below the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors. Dual zone climate control coming standard. So both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures there. 64 colors of ambient lighting. That is stinking cool. And I love how Mercedes still puts the ambient lighting within the vents right now so and right now that ambient lighting is actually changing colors of i am sitting here it's going from blue to cyan to red it's just constantly changing colors it's so stinking cool i love that and again it's inside the vents that i'm looking at right now so it's kind of like a subtle thing i don't know i like it but plenty of interior options as well you got ash wood walnut wood metal weave natural grain black wood so plenty of options to make it your own and i like this kind of weave carbon fiber pattern ish looking look just surrounding the cup holders here as well it's a pretty darn cool look it's very smooth too nice gloss finish to it there so as always mercedes-benz always crushes it with their interior quality the only thing i would probably add is maybe a suede headline or at least have it available but other than that absolutely amazing interior quality in this thing but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen like i said it is an 11.9 inch color touchscreen display portrait style so it's not a horizontal display like mercedes has done in the past so i like that of course it is touchscreen it's a very easy reach as well so you don't need to touch pad controller or anything like that in this thing 
But there is also that functionality where you can say, hey Mercedes, and then it'll essentially respond to you and do whatever you ask it to do. So that's pretty cool. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system is available for 650 bucks if you wanted that. You can check out your climate control settings up there, of course, your ambient lighting settings as well along with your radio information. So standard sound system actually is a front base five speaker sound system, but there is an available 15 speaker Burmester 3D sound system available. That's actually the one that we have today that comes with 750 watts, by the way. So having said that, let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> So <laughs> that wasn't Sirius XM, by the way. That was just regular FM radio. I can tell there was a ton of bass and plenty of clarity. Honestly, that sound system is fine. It could have been a lot better if we had Sirius XM hooked up to this thing right now, but we don't yet because this car just came in. But I will say it was super easy to turn up and down the volume as well. There's a little button all the way to the bottom right hand corner where you just slide your finger to the right for up, slide it to the left for down. That was very easy to use as opposed to just the traditional knobby thingy. So I like that way of turning it up and down. But anyways, sound system was definitely plenty fine in this thing. But last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the C-Class in reverse here, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board. And there is a surround view monitor as well that is going to be optional. That's found on all the way to the left there. And there is actually a complete bird's eye view as well that you could set across the whole screen if you wanted to as well. So plenty of different views and just using your finger, you can actually look all around the vehicle. This is so stinking cool. Like I could play with this for a while. This is really cool technology. But anyways, the parking assistance feature all the way to the top there where you can essentially it'll search for a parking space and then you could tell it if you want to pull in or back. And that's a really crazy feature as well. But anyways, as always, all of that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, I first want to mention in 2021, the C-Class was an IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very highest rating given by IIHS. It hasn't yet been tested for 2023, but typically vehicles only get better over time. So I'm sure it would be perfectly fine if it was tested. But anyways, front side side current airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag as well. Rear side impact airbags are available for an additional $700 if you wanted to go that route. In the back, also you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, attention assist, active brake assist, adaptive braking technology, Mercedes-Benz emergency call service. So if it detects that the airbags go off and you've been in an accident, it's going to automatically call you and ask you if you need an ambulance or the police or whatever the case love that blind spot assist with exit warning as well and then on top of that there is a driver assistance package it goes for $1,700 that's going to include adaptive cruise control emergency stop assist lane change assist lane keep assist speed limit assist active steering assist evasive steering assist and route based speed adaptation as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, excellent interior quality. Mercedes always crushes it with that, especially their ambient lighting. That always impresses me. Sinks plenty quick as well. Certainly didn't have any issues there. Very, very good braking. That's 60 zero in a, whatever I said, 112, 114 feet. I forget what I said now. That is incredible. That's an incredible number and it definitely brought me to a very quick stop in this thing. As far as room for improvement goes, I really do think safety should be standard. I'm gonna keep saying this on my Mercedes-Benz reviews until Mercedes-Benz makes it standard because that driver assistance package I just read off to you, traditionally that will come standard on Toyota, Hyundai, Kia, Honda, brands like that give you all of that for free. It, you don't have to pay any extra for it, but on Mercedes, it's a driver assistance package for 1700 bucks. So Mercedes, if you're watching this, make safety standard, please. Another thing, that rear side impact airbags, it gets for $700 in this thing. You get a standard on a Corolla. I'm just saying. That leads me to my next point. The C-Class can get pricey very quick in typical Mercedes fashion. And I guess they do it that way so people can get into the brand uh, just because it's a Mercedes Benz. They can get into the brand at a lower price. But when it's all said and done, you're probably going to end up with a lot of options jacking up the price a lot higher than that standard MSRP that you started with. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the C300 sedan in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.